Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and for this video, we'll be heading to the Philippines, where the main hub of the country, the Manila Airport, is currently working to address its problems of congestion and crowding at its terminals. One move that the airport has been taking is the reassignment of airlines and flights between the airport's terminals. This is all part of an ongoing terminal realignment plan that is being implemented, and this summer, some of the biggest shifts of airlines at the airport will take place. In this video, we'll highlight some of those big changes and what it means for the airlines and travelers alike. Last week, the Manila International Airport Authority announced changes of airlines that will be transferring terminals between April and July. The end result of these moves will see Terminal 2, which is currently used by Philippine Airlines for its domestic and international operations, will be converted to become an all-domestic passenger terminal. For this, Philippine Airlines will shift its international flight operations to Terminal 1. The timeline for these changes will take place between April and July. This will start on April 16, the move of the Jetstar Group Airlines Jetstar Asia, Jetstar Japan, Scoot, China Southern, and Starlux from its current position at Terminal 1 to Terminal 3. On the same day, Philippine Airlines will switch its international flights to Singapore, Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi, and Phnom Penh from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. A few weeks later, on June 1, another move from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3 will take place. This time, two airlines, Ethiopian Airlines and Jeju Air, will make the move. Then on June 16, after moving some of its international flight operations to Terminal 1, all of Philippine Airlines' international flight departures and arrivals will operate out of Terminal 1. While Philippine Airlines' domestic flights will remain at Terminal 2, they will be joined by Philippines Air Asia on July 1 when all of the Philippine-based AirAsia subsidiaries' domestic operations will switch from Terminal 4, the old domestic terminal, to Terminal 2. This is a continuation of an ongoing process of shifting airlines and flights between the terminals for efficiency. Previously, some international airlines have switched from Terminal 1 to Terminal 3, though things have been ramping up since December when Philippine Airlines moved its operations of flights to the U.S., Canada, and the Middle East from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1. To support the increase in international flights at Terminal 1 and Terminal 3, airport personnel, especially the immigration officers, will be transferred to those terminals to help address the crowding and processing times for departing and arriving passengers. According to the Manila International Airport, these plans have been well studied, done in collaboration with airlines and stakeholders. This summer, we'll see a major shift of airlines between the terminals of the Manila Airport which will have implications for each airline, especially among the locally based airlines. Philippine Airlines will be the most impacted by the move. This move will end the advantage of having the majority of its international and domestic flight operations at Terminal 2. This will take away the advantage that the airline has previously had for ease of connections between its international and domestic network within the confines of Terminal 2. This advantage will now go to Cebu Pacific as most of its international and domestic flights operate out of Terminal 3. While the Manila Airport does have plans to expand Terminal 2, for now Cebu Pacific remains at home at Terminal 3 and it will have a good selling point for the convenience of travelers offering connections between domestic points, especially for those arriving from international flights from foreign airlines at Terminal 3. Meanwhile, for Philippines Air Asia, Domestic travelers will now have an enhanced domestic travel experience at Terminal 2 after years of using the old domestic terminal which has been known to be crowded and lacking space. However, the airline will not have a single-use terminal facility as its domestic operations will be at Terminal 2 while international operations remain at Terminal 3. This will be a big shift for airlines and passengers alike traveling through the Manila Airport and we could expect more shifts among international airlines serving the airport going forward. What is your take on the shift of airlines and flights at Manila Airport between terminals? I definitely would love to hear your take though. In the meantime, this has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. For more of the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. In the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great day.